Welcome to Macharaviaya, the birthplace of the Galvez family. Go away, those who have weakened my heart, and follow me, who want to join in my glorious labors. In the early 18th century, Los Galvez were a family of impoverished gentlemen. Nation that worsened with the premature death of my paternal grandfather. My father, Matthias, and my uncle Joseph, although very young, assumed the family responsibilities, sharing their school time with grazing and cultivating the land to feed their mother and their small brothers, Michael and Antonio. But our fate changed with the Bishop of Malaga's pastoral visit to Machraviaya. González de Toro became enthused by my uncle Joseph's intelligence and he made him his acolyte, giving him a scholarship to study in the San Sebastián Apostolistic School in Malaga. He continued his studies in Granada, Salamanca and Alcalá de Henares, where he specialised in jurisprudence. The bishop was moved to Cuenca and for a while his post was available. But, to everyone's surprise, Gaspar de Molina and Oviedo, personal advisor to the king and president of the Castile Council, was appointed as the new Bishop of Malaga. My uncle Joseph was transferred to the village and court of Madrid, where he was appointed defence lawyer of Malaga province at only 23 years of age. During this period, he achieved a reduction of taxes for the inhabitants of Malaga province. Due to his hard work, Don José becomes well known among the most important politicians in Spain, one of his famous phrases becoming legend. The law comes before the king, your majesty. In 1776, my uncle Joseph was appointed Secretary of State for the Chamber of India, and the first thing our family did was to create a factory in Macharaviaya with monopoly for providing playing cards for America. The village population increased significantly, with artists and their families arriving from abroad. The factory building was located alongside the houses in Real Street. The car trade created the need to open up communication. So two roads were rebuilt, one a bridle path, the other for carriages that linked up and improved the main road to Malaga. This culminated in the construction of the Alameda in the city centre. The streets of Macharaviaya were covered with ostentatious paving as found in a large European city. Free lessons for girls began, culminating in the first female public school in Spain. But the great transformation of the village came in 1785, when my uncle, Miguel Galvez, absent from the court due to illness, chose Macharaviaya to recover. Urgent measures were taken that made Macharaviaya become known as the Little Madrid. At the entrance of the town, we can find the Templete, a commemorative monument of the works carried out by the Galvez family. The work which best reflects our family's power is the cathedral aspect of the San Jacinto Parish. The building was created for double functionality, church and family pantheon. The floor of the church was going to be tiled with golden coins, but His Majesty Carlos III requested that the coins were placed on their side so his face was not stepped on. Due to the large dimensions of the church cathedral floor, it was decided not to use coins to cover the ground, and the treasure was kept inside the crypt's roof. So if ever the church was destroyed, the treasure could be used for its reconstruction. In the interior of the museum, benches of various sizes are kept, which were used in 1785. Underneath the church floor is the Pantheon Crypt that has the same dimensions as the church. Under the presbytery, one can see my uncle Don José's marble mausoleum and ornate statues that represent members of the Galvez family. Along with the water brought from the San Telmo aqueduct, we built three public fountains and a covered washroom. 